welcome back. We move on to sports. Here's Barum Tony Uranta. Betway, the premium online sports betting experience, is now live in Nigeria. Thank you, John Moran. Welcome to Sports News. Barcelona Football Club of Spain and Bayern Munich of Germany are through to the quarterfinals of the UEFA Champions League. Barcelona thrashed Chelsea 3-0 at the New Camp, with Lionel Messi scoring a brace. Following a one-all draw in the first leg, the visitors fell behind after just three minutes as Messi shot through the legs of Thibaut Ducroix from a tight angle. German champions Bayern Munich humiliated Besiktas 3-1, 8-1 on aggregate to book out their place in the last eight. The quarterfinal draw will be done on Friday. Sunshine Stars have mandated technical director Henry Abiodun to take charge of the struggling club. This comes after head coach Duke Udi was asked to step aside following allegations of insubordination and gross misconduct. The Ondo State Commissioner for Youth and Sports Development, Saka Ngunleye, told Channel Television that the former Nigerian international could be considered after the determination of the cases against him. Ngunleye also confirmed that Abiodun would lead the Owena Waves against visiting UB Desert Stars on Sunday in a match day 13 clash in Akure. And British Prime Minister Theresa May has announced that no ministers or members of the royal family will go to the 2018 FIFA World Cup finals in Russia this summer. She made the announcement during Wednesday's Prime Minister's questions following the poisoning of a former Russian spy, Sergei Skripal, and his daughter, Yulia, in Salisbury last week. Mrs. May said the nerve agent used to poison Mr. Skripal was developed in Russia, and she considers Russia as highly likely to be behind the attack. It is not in our national interest to break off all dialogue between the United Kingdom and the Russian Federation. But in the aftermath of this appalling act against our country, this relationship cannot be the same. So we will suspend all planned high-level bilateral contacts between the United Kingdom and the Russian Federation. This includes revoking the invitation to Foreign Minister Lavrov to pay a reciprocal visit to the UK and confirming there will be no attendance by ministers or indeed members of the royal family at this summer's World Cup in Russia. Finally, Mr Speaker, we will deploy a range of tools from across the full breadth of our national security apparatus in order to counter the threats of hostile state activity. While I have set out some of these measures today, members on all sides will understand that there are some that cannot be shared publicly for reasons of national security. And with that hard sign from the British Prime Minister Theresa May, we end on Sports News for tonight. I'm Barong, Tony Aranta and Ijoma. We'll be back with a wrap. Betway, the premium online sports betting experience, is now live in Nigeria. Thanks, Baram. Now, the former Sierra Leone military coup leader, Julius Mada Biel, has won the first round of Sierra Leone's presidential election. Biel fell short of the 55% he needed to avoid a second round runoff as he secured 43.3% of the vote. He'll now face the ruling party candidate, Samura Kamara, who's behind by just 0.6% in two weeks. Sierra Leone's election is headed to a runoff later this month after neither of the two front runners secured an outright majority in the first round. According to results announced by the Electoral Commission, opposition leader Julius Madabio, who had 43.3% in the first round, will square off against Samura Kamara of the ruling party, who took 42.7% of the vote, which held last Wednesday, the 7th of March. Samura Matthew Wilson, All People's Congress, APC. President Ernest Bai Koroma is stepping aside after his maximum two terms in office. The largely peaceful votes to replace him came as a relief for the country of seven million people, which endured a brutal diamond field civil war in the 1990s. The runoff of the election is expected to take place on the 27th of March. The UK has expelled 23 Russian diplomats in response to Russia's defiance to explain how a Russian nerve 
agent was used on former spy and his daughter in Salisbury. Prime Minister Theresa May made the announcement today as Russia was supposed to have responded before midnight yesterday. Among measures announced against Russia are the revocation of an invitation to Russia's Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov and increased checks on private flights, customs and freight. Also, the freezing of Russian state assets where there is evidence they may be used to threaten the lives of property on UK nationals or its residents. And the main news again. President Mohammed Buhari today met with parents of the abducted Dapchi schoolgirls, giving them the assurance of the government's efforts to negotiate their safe return. President Buhari also described the federal government's speedy response to the abduction of the schoolgirls as a clear departure from the past administration's failure to act after the Chibok girls were abducted in 2014. And that's the news at 10 tonight. Thanks so much for staying with us. I'm Ijama Bonyata. Good night. Thank you.